A new political chapter has begun following the inauguration of the 24th House of Representatives. By next week, Ying Lak Chinawat will have formally taken office as Prime Minister. Even before stepping into the government house, Ying Lak has already projected her style of leadership, getting work done with subtlety. Over the weekend, Pua Thai MP Apiwan Wiriyachai made an abrupt decision to withdraw from the race to be House Speaker. With Apiwan out of the picture, Ying Lak was spared from having to choose between him and Somsak Kiet Suranon. Ying Lak's hatchet men should be commended for convincing Apiwan to opt for a face saving exit. The subtlety of letting friends down gently is expected to dominate next week's news when Ying Lak will unveil her cabinet. Pua Thai insiders suspected that the party's real power brokers, Ying Lak's brother Thaksin Chinawat and his ex-wife, Kun Ying Pochama Na Pompet, finalized their decisions on the allocation of the ministerial portfolios about a week ago. The hard part is breaking the bad news to people who hoped to be in the cabinet. There's still an unanswered question as to how to the red shirts will be accommodated. Ying Lak cannot afford to antagonize the red shirts if her government is to succeed in bringing about reconciliation. The task of keeping the red shirts happy won't be easy. A few weeks ago, Ying Lak faced the wrath of a red clique led by fugitive Chakrapop Penke, who reprimanded her for warning the reds not to intimidate the election commission into endorsing red MP select. One thorny issue for the new PM and the Red Shirts is the legal problem faced by Red Shirt leader and MP Jatupon Prompan. Although now out on bail and endorsed by the Election Commission, Jatupon's qualification as party list MP had been in question as it had been held in the remand prison since May. Ying Lak will have a tough time trying to rein in the Red Shirts without appearing to shortchange Jatupon. It would be unfortunate for Pua Thai if ties with their red shirt allies sour. It would be unfortunate for Pua Thai if ties with their red allies sour over what happens to Jatupon. The red shirts have campaigned vigorously against double standards in law enforcement. But would they compromise their principle in order to save one of their top men? More importantly, what will Ying Lak do or not do to save Jatupon? Avud Banatnon, The Nation Analysis for ASEAN TV.